Good morning, you two family. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. I'm getting ready to take a little stroll to the mailbox and out to the island. I figure I'd take you guys along with me. Hope you're having a good day. Let's get to walking. I don't know yet, but we may have some company tag along with us. We got the sheep and the goat back together. Separated the ram and the billy from all the girls. I hope they all bred, but we got them all separated yesterday or day before yesterday, Rob Lynn and I. So we're going to take a little stroll out here to the, to the mailbox. See what's going on. As y'all can see, we got some limbs, minor limbs, nothing big scattered around over there. That old rotten pine tree that lightning struck a while back limbs uh, the top of it fell out i'm gonna pile it all up together around that little bit that's left and hopefully burn all that but we didn't really have a lot of damage from the storm thank the lord got a lot of rain that we really needed the yard was flooded today it rained and um as you can see most of us already uh been soaked up by the earth so we, we were fortunate not to have any more damage than we had and we got much needed rain. It's brought the pond up and uh, I'm sure the water table's up around here right now. But again, it was real dry. So that rain was right on time. But as we walk out here to the mailbox, I'd like to give y'all a little bit of update. We, uh, our crew's been on and off sick like everybody else with the crud. But hopefully it seems like everybody's Pretty much getting close back to normal, not completely. Still got some hacking coughing going on, but overall, everybody's a lot better than they were. But still desire your prayers, as well as many other people in our family and our church, and I'm sure a lot of you on here have been fighting the same crud, the flu and the colds and stuff. It's still amazes me how the flu all of a sudden came back this year. And a couple years back, you know, you never heard of the flu. But we won't get into that little soapbox today of mine. But there's a scripture I wanted to share with you. It's in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19. And I, I'm going to share this scripture with you because there's a lot of you been giving in some prayer requests on the channel. Some of you sent me emails about prayer requests. And um, there's a lot to pray about. I want to just encourage you. Just to hang in there, keep you, keep you focused on God, and stay on your knees in prayer, and stay in that Word as much as you can, and uh, listen to some good gospel singing, good gospel preaching, teaching, but anything you can surround yourself with, um, from the Bible to God's Spirit, it'll help you. But this scripture right here in Jeremiah chapter one, verse nineteen says, "And they shall fight against thee." but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. So whatever you're going through today, whoever's fighting against you or whatever's fighting against you, it don't always have to be a person. It could be the evil spirits of this world trying to oppress you and come against you, whether it be with fear or anxiety or sickness or doubt or whatever. But we need to be reminded, including myself, that they're going to fight against us, the evilness. But they're not going to win if you've been born again. And I try to echo that to myself, to the man in the mirror that I look at every day, as well as my family. And it, it does me a lot of good to be reminded of the goodness of God. If God be for you, who can be against you? That's what the scripture says also. As you can see, the pond's up pretty good out there. Make you a little better view of it when I come back from the mailbox. But some of the goats and the sheep came a little ways, but they done stopped up there munching on some grass, some weeds. But y'all let me know of some of the things you may be going through. You don't have to get personal. I know you don't want to share all your business on here. But some of you have shared some stuff of family and friends and yourself that the enemy's come against you with and different, with different things. But remember, the Bible also says he's a liar and the father of every lie he's ever told you. So in the name of Jesus, the devil has to flee. 
Now, I have been praying for those requests we've given in. I pray for all my YouTube family as a whole. And then when we get specific prayer requests like we've been getting here lately, we pray for those as well. Because I'm going to tell you, we're living in a time today where we need more prayer. We need more of God's word. We need more of God's spirit. And we need each other. There are a lot of people that think they don't need anybody. That's a trick of the devil. Everybody needs somebody. And uh, I think that's a, a tactic of the devil to try to make you think you don't need anybody. You got this on your own. You can get yourself in a world of hurt, in a world of trouble, if you try to go at life by yourself. One, you need God, most importantly. And really, that's all you need. But also, I believe God puts people in our lives at just the right time, whether they're on YouTube, whether they're in person, whether it's at work, wherever. He'll send the messenger by to give you and I what we need to hear. So they will not prevail, whoever or whatever is coming against us. They will not prevail, and we'll plead the blood of Jesus over whatever's trying to drag you down, coming against you and your family. In the name of Jesus, it's got to go. That blood's still as powerful today as it was the day it ran down Calvary's hill. So I hope we can just trust him with all of our heart, mind, body, and soul. We've been wide open around here. Uh, had a lot going on at church. Some of y'all may have seen some of the baptism baptisms that went on. I baptized 10 this past Sunday night. And uh, man, that's just an awesome feeling to be able to baptize those folks and to see them continue to come to church and growing in the Lord. And we're trying to disciple them as much as we can because uh, you were just living in the young people that started coming. That's amazing to me, young couples and their small kids as well as just young single uh, young people. And that does me a lot of good and we need to do what we can do to nothing in the mailbox today but yeah as these young people are coming we need to do what we can do to encourage them you know, we always fuss and carry on about how the devil's got this younger generation but I ask ourselves what are we doing about it you're praying is good and we need to pray but we also know that faith without works is dead so we need to put some feet under our faith and go out and do got to do his part we just got to do our part and i hope you can reach out to those people in your life that need to hear about jesus need to hear about the gospel good cool morning here in south carolina today i think it was like 34 when i got up by about 32 when i got up and this one looked about 44 when I came out earlier. It was like 46, 48. Partly overcast or partly cloudy, however you want to call it. But it's a good day nonetheless. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Two car up, three of them. They're racing down the highway here in front of the house. This is Miss Lafayette, our 90, 92, 91, 92-year-old neighbor. This is her property. I try to keep that bush hog for her. Um, she's still going really good for her age, really good her age. Sometimes you can move better than I can, but she's got a lot of wisdom. She shared a lot with Riley and I when we first moved here. She could get out a little more than she does now, but... That's her pasture on this side of the pond. We share the pond. I don't know if I've shared that with y'all before. She owns half the pond. I own the other, we own the other half. But this is a nice place out here in the country. Pastures and fields and these pine trees. And I mean, it's just honeysuckles right here in the spring and the summer. Be, blooming right here i just leave them right there they come back they smell so good when they bloom in their time of the year see right here the deer have been working on that we see deer here all the time jumping the fence and they they always cross right in here but they, that's what that that's what done that right there the deer have been clipping those bushes off
Finally got all the Christmas decorations down. Robert got her house back like she wants it now. Back in, in order, in regular working order. Let's go in, there, in the fence here and see what's going on around the pond. As far as I got in the gate, yeah, that pond's coming right on up. This is that view. I'll be just get right down there while I was sharing some of the scripture reading that I share on some of my shorts that I've been doing lately. This seems to be going well, reaching a lot of people. And when you strap the time, it's, it's easier to do those little shorts just to continue to get the word out there, the gospel. And a lot of people latch on to it in a good way. About every one of those I share, you always got some negative person out there that comes against it, but we just rebuke them in the name of Jesus and keep on sharing the gospel and trying to force nothing down nobody's throat just trying to share what God's laid on my heart if you want it it's here for the taking and if you don't there's many other places you can go to watch what you want to watch we encourage you to do that but yeah they all the sheep and the goats back together and they enjoying this wide open pasture even though a lot of the stuff is brown, they still eating a lot. You can see some green right up under this pine tree here. And there's some over that, that pine tree where the frost hadn't really killed it all. But we keep hay up there in the racks for them so they don't go hungry. They're very well taken care of. But yeah, you can see that pine's really, really come up a lot in the last week or so with all this rain. Out here on the prayer bench, the cross, my favorite places to come and visit every morning. So yeah, y'all just, it's just, I just wanted to jump on here and just ramble a little bit and share a little bit of that scripture with you from Jeremiah and I hope that'll help you. Um, let me know what you got going on. You and your family. Have you got all your Christmas decorations down yet? Or, What's the next event you're planning for? But I just wanted to encourage you all to know that no matter who or what's fighting against you, if God be for you, who can be against you? I'll walk on down here and check the other end of this pond. See how close it's getting up to running over the end. Probably not quite there yet, but it is getting close, I feel like. Still hadn't been able to get this thing dug out. That's why it keeps drying up and the weather's dry around here. We don't get a lot of rain. But hopefully, hopefully one day it'll all work out where we can get it dug out. As you can see across there, a lot of water standing. It's been a while since water stood in these ditches in this in this uh, pasture. And what it does is a, there's, a, there's a ditch that goes all the way back to the highway at the end of the pond all the way around the perimeter of our property, all the way around, back out to the main highway. And what this water does, I have to go over there and stop it. It gets stopped up over there. It goes through the next pasture where those line of trees are. There's a big old ditch, that same ditch I was talking about. And all the water like that pasture drains into that ditch. It was designed like that when we got here. Yeah, it's still got a ways to go. That old tote blew back in there. I'd gotten that thing out of there a while back but need to get it out and do away with it completely but you see how low it still is and i gotta still gotta replace this drain right there that ain't big enough they had a little two inch drain in there to, to help the water when they got so high that old tote there is no good i gotta get that out of there people asked me before what they had this fence in here and for the longest time we moved here the pond was really dry. I had a drought for a year or so, it seemed like. And I put that fence down through the middle there to keep our goats from going across because Miss Lafayette has part of her pasture fenced in, but the backside here, it's not fenced in, and the, and the goats could go across the, the ditch and go over there to the neighbors, as you see across there, and go out in the road. But here's the other, in, other side of that drain that comes out of there. And when it gets up, that flows pretty good. But I, I'm thinking about taking and digging me a place across here where that pipe's at and slant it to this side and put me some kind of fabric in there and some uh some kind of rock gravel or 
some of those granite rocks, that riprap rock. But there's, the, I don't know if you can see it or not. If you can see it, just, yeah, it's still flowing. Yeah, it was really gushing through there earlier, but it's moving kind of slow, but that, this pond runs into there and it goes on that way under the main highway. But that ditch goes all the way around our property, all the way behind the house, right on back to those woods over there. Then it angles and goes back out where that opening is right there and goes back out toward the main highway on that side. All right, y'all, I'm in this video as we were talking. I don't know if you've seen it on there. Oh, there was a hole in the fence back there and a little girl, one of the goats found the hole and went out of it and had to get her back in. So I'm going to the house now to get, get the tools and the supplies I need to repair this hole on the fence line back in the back of the pasture. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little walk with me today. I guess this will be like kind of like a devotion on the go. Just wanted to share a little bit of God's word and share what was on my heart and hope to hear back from you guys and what's going on, what you're battling with and dealing with and what you got going on around your neck of the woods. So, uh, here comes my company. They follow me right on around, fix those in this gate and take them back to the house so they won't get out till I get this thing repaired. But anyway, until next time, y'all, appreciate you hanging out with me. Until next time, remember, Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we're dealing with in life. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.